Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you, Aki, and it's pushing his truth and truest sincerity. This is just a lunchtime epistle here at the plantation. And I was meditating on the video. I'll show it in a minute. I was meditating on the video that the brother uh, Garsham, I think that's the brother's name, a shalom to that brother out there, all the way out there in Holland. You know, he did a lesson on um, lineups. And uh, one thing that I took from that lesson is uh, using subtlety in this world. So without further ado, I'm going to get this scripture. I'm going to show the video, get some definitions, and Lord willing, you edify it. But this lesson is more geared towards younger brothers, you know, proselyte brothers, brothers that's on the outside of the camp who's diligently studying, brothers who's just waking up right now. You know, subtlety is key in this truth. OK, so this is our uh, Proverbs one. It says the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So you have to perceive the words of understanding, too. It's just not about knowing uh, a, a gang of precepts. All right. You have to know how to apply them. You have to get understanding from this word. It says to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. So let's get this word subtlety. And uh, this is the brother's video, the brother Garsham from our GMS Holland, All right, He did a video called, we don't conform to this world with the corners of our hair and beard. And uh, basically during a lesson, the brother was getting a, uh, you know, cut or whatever. But of course, you know, we don't get lineups, okay? According to Leviticus 19 and uh, with 27, Right. If you didn't know, now you know. We don't. We don't. We don't get lineups in this truth. That's an ancient style that goes back to uh, Hamites, namely the Canaanites. All right. We don't. We don't follow the ways of the heathen. So he did his lesson, and in the video, you know, he was being subtile with the uh, the hairstylist. He was like, "Nah, I don't. I don't get lineups." And then somebody had asked him, uh, basically, uh, about the Bible. And he says, uh, "Do you, you know, follow the, the laws?" Of the Bible, and he said to my best of my ability, yes. But he didn't. He didn't go around and tell people that he's a Hebrew Israelite, and uh, you know he's doing the work. All right, he was subtle with his approach. All right. So this word subtility. Excuse me. All right, subtility. Late 14th century acuteness, skill, cunning. All right, we're cunning on the right hand side, not cunning on the left hand side as far as wickedness. But you have to be cunning out here with these people, man. You can't go and tell people what, what you're involved in, especially at work. I'm up here at work right now at a, at a nice location outside. It's not too loud. You know, you got a few birds chirping. I'll hear my break. All right. Learning how to be subtle. And it, it takes time, you know, because we first come into the truth. We've all been there. You want to tell your mother, your father, your cousins and whatnot. And then you find out most of the time your parents ain't going to get it. They, they might not get it at that point. They might get it in the end. But majority of our parents ain't, are not going to be with this truth, man, especially coming from different backgrounds like Christianity and Islam and whatnot. And what you grew up in, your parents are not going to accept that you're out here pushing this word on the highways and byways. But anyways, nonetheless, this word cunning from the early 14th century, learn, skillful, possessing knowledge. All right. We possess the knowledge and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai while reading these scriptures. So you have to be skillful out here. All right. Like this brother did the lesson. All right. And you have you have to use subtlety out here. All right. Just like, for instance, like you go to the barber shop, you know, you get a little cut. Oh, man, wait on the line up. Hey, man, look, I don't want my line pushed back like Stephen A. Smith. All right. Excuse the plane in the background. And that, that's the truth. You don't want your hairline pushed back, man. You don't want to be looking like Stephen A. Smith, man. Like, oh, okay. You know, things, things of that nature. Um, let, let's get a let's get um, Leviticus uh, eleven right quick. Just a real quick lesson on this lunch break. Um, something that I, I, was, I was thinking about last night. I'm just going to decide to drop it today. Um, Leviticus uh, eleven. Let's go to Leviticus eleven and seven to the point. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof 
and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. So um yeah, we, we don't we don't we don't mess with the uh the pork, the shrimp and crab and lobster, okay? And, and later on the chapter talks about, you know, cre cre seafood, sea creatures that you can eat that don't, uh, that have skins, uh, fell, uh, oh, excuse me, sea creatures that have uh, fins and scales. That's lawful, right? So if somebody asks you why you don't eat pepperoni pizza, well, hey, look, I I'll be in the hospital if I eat that stuff, man. Last time I ate it, man, I had hives all over my skin. Oh, man. Hey, man, we can't get Jimmy, um, you know, make sure, you know, at, at work, make sure we get Jimmy some uh, chicken pizza. And some cheese pizza because you know we we need him at work we don't need him to you know using subtility with these people man all right so even using subtility with your woman uh, some some brothers hey some brothers got a good like that some brothers tell their woman they 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 got to go to work on saturday all right but just using subtility will get you a long way we're not we're not out here telling these people every every waking moment that we're we're from the tribe of judah or from the tribe of reuben and you need to repent. It's not that's not the that's not the right place to be at at work or on your day to day. You need, you see these you see these guys out here at the Audis or, or or the gym, you know, with friends on their t shirt. That's not wise, man. That's not that's not using subtility. All right. All right, let's go to um Colossians. Let me see, uh Colossians four and five. All right, it says, it says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. You got to walk in wisdom toward these people who have no clue about what you're doing on the highways and byways and putting out these lessons. All right, there's, there's somebody out here on the lunch break, but he, this guy is like thousands of feet away from me. He probably think I'm talking to some girl on the phone. I'm doing a lesson right now. All right. So we got to walk in wisdom, man. All right. It says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Going into subtility, all right? Shoot, when, he, when these Christmas parties come around and whatnot, you know, you got to use, use, use certain subtility, man, with, with certain things. You can't tell people that Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, don't fall away to heathen. You got to use some type of subtility with these people, Okay. Because these people have no clue what's going on. And then uh, at the same time, too, all right, they, they sense they sense that you're different. So you got to you, you got to use your skill, man. You got to use you got to use that brain. Like Apostle Hart says, use your head, something else for other, other than a hat rack. You know, you know, we have to, uh, you know, be subtle out here with these folks, man. You know, um, you know, uh, me and a brother have like a responsibility as far as bringing camp signs to camp. And neighbor might see me. I told him, hey, I go to the uh, School of Art. All right. Every week we have to bring this sign. All right. Every Saturday we go to class. You know, if somebody asks me, I'll, I'll tell them that because I'm not going to be telling nobody about the truth. I'm not going to be telling somebody from my apartment complex or down the street or somebody at the gym the truth, man. Because you, you got to watch these people, man. All right. Because when all hell break loose and this person persecution come, they're going to they going to. They're going to run to Tyrone or whatever your name is in the world. And he, yeah, he was preaching that stuff over there, man. He, he was preaching about Esau, man. And, uh, you know, he hates such and such. And now you don't want to move like that. When you, you want to use subtility out here. Okay. Um, Ephesians. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to Amos. And I'm going to just bring out a point that we brought out last week at camp. It's closing on now. Amos 5 and uh, verse 13, I believe. Amos 5 and 13, therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. And like I mentioned, you know, when you first wake up, you want to tell your mom and them, and, you know, eventually time will heal. You know, some brothers even told their they parents, like, I don't, I don't even do all that no more. You know, just to be subtle, all right? You can tell these people whatever the hell you want to tell them, but you can't lie to the brothers, okay? You can tell these people whatever the hell you want to tell them. That's using subtility, all right? And like I said, Tom Hills, your parents, oh yeah, he yeah he was doing that thing, but you know that boy, you know he, you know I don't know, man, that boy be going through phases. You know you got use subtlety with these people, man. All right, it's an evil time. You can't be telling everybody what you're in. We come into the time of persecution, man. Especially, it seems like towards the last part of the year, Esau wants to pull this uh, uh, persecution with the uh, 
the small hats, the 1948 ers saying that we attacked them. So we got to be circumspect out here these last days with everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? You might work with Amalek. You don't want to tell him that he's not he's he's a he's a fake Jew. You, you don't want to do that. All right. You want to be circumspect. If your name is Brian, be Brian. All right. If your name is Jamal, be Jamal. Don't don't be your uh, Hebrew name at the job. All right. So you got to use subtility. Now, there's one more I wanted to get and I'll just close it on now. Um, I believe it's. um. Yeah. Using subtility, using subtility, man. First Corinthians seven. I think it's verse uh, 31, I believe. And this is the uh, <laughs> is one of my my brother my brother's favorite scripture, man. My, the the priest of Karia, man. This is one of his favorite scriptures. I hear him quote this a lot. First Corinthians seven and thirty one. And you and you got brothers that got families, man. You know they got they got to go see in laws at times and whatnot. They use subtility, man. They're not up here telling the in laws about precepts and stuff like that. You know, so you know for younger brothers, proselytes is waking up, man. We have to. Learn to use subtility. I'm still learning how to use subtility to a certain extent. All right. First Corinthians seven and thirty one. And they that use this world is not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass with way. And you get you gotta use this world, use it, man. You know, you gotta use this world to, you know, do what you gotta do. All right, then then, then use it, man. If somebody wants to help you out in the world, all right, based on your conduct and the person that you are, then let them do it. You know. You know, you, you use this world, don't abuse it, all right? We're, we have to deal with the world, but we're no part of the world, if you get my drift. So that that's basically it on the lesson, man. Um, like I said, this lesson was inspired by the brother Garsham. Uh, his page is GMS Holland, Israelite Foreigner. Y'all brothers go and subscribe to the brother's page over there in uh, Holland. And, um, hey, with that, Lord, when I was edifying, to next time, I'm going to say Shalom.